Today, opening up Silver Tempest Booster Box. This is number two. Let's just jump right into it. I've been really enjoying Silver Tempest. Overall, I think it's really a great set. From everything I'm hearing, it sounds like it's actually short run. So, ooh, I can't get that in. Spend too much time doing that. So, let's jump in, right into it. Here we go. Still looking for alt art and gold of Lugia. But, we shall get it eventually. Probably today. Just not in this pack. Here we go. Hope everyone's had a great week. In and off on a high. As in, just having a good time. I know it's been a good one for me. So, no way to end the week any better than opening some packs. So what does everyone else think about the Silver Tempest? From, hey, first hit, Chestnut, Chestnut V. This is a duplicate for me. This is the set that I am trying to complete. <clears throat> and we are, you know, I've opened what? A booster box, a booster box worth of the booster bundles and a few random packs. So I have opened up a whole lot. I got a binder started of it. That's a lot of fun. Definitely enjoy it. Getting the binder together, it's something that me and Little Griff are just enjoy doing together. He's not gonna, he's not here today. Have no hype guy, no hype man. So I could use some hype down in chat. Ooh, look, Ninja Star, gone. Go card. All right, it's just gonna end up being a mess over here today. But yeah, what do y'all think about Silver Tempest? I mean. Compared to other sets in the uh, Sword and Shield era, saying how we're coming to end on it, or I guess technically we are done with it now that uh, Crown Zenith is out, but I'm having a lot of fun opening it. Like, you know, you get the cool little trainer gallery cards, or and you get, oh, well, there's one in here, I see it down below. What is it? It's like the fourth or fifth one of this uphold in the small amount of cards in Among Us. Let's hope with the name. Here's another code card. But yeah. This set. I've been really, really enjoying it. Ooh, did not open that very well. Okay. Let's do this first. Okay. Spinarak. Beldum. Grogant. What is going on? Although, I have noticed in this set, like, there's a whole bunch of whitening. You can see it right there by my thumb. It's all over the name. On this side, I've noticed it more. Oh, you can definitely see it on the back. Look at that top corner. Compared to other stuff I've been opening, same with the Zubat. Like, this is just the most, or the worst quality control one I've opened so far. Of the sets I've opened. But, still loving the set. Big Lugia fan. Gotta like that movie. What was it? Pokemon 2000? I believe it was the name of it. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen it. But yeah, the set overall. It's just been really... Oh! Is that a rainbow? I believe that means it's a rainbow. <laughs> oh! I only have one rainbow out of this set. Now I got two of them. This is my second Wallace. And I need all of the other rainbows in this set. And I pulled the same one I already have. Which, I mean, that's okay. This will be... Hopefully, I can trade it to one I don't have. Which might end up happening. You now, we're trying to get a... You know, I always say we're always about the community. I'm trying to grow a uh, Pokemon community in my local... Uh, shop so far it's you know it's just at the beginning we're trying to get it going and i would i feel like at some point after watching so many other youtubers that do this stuff like they go through thousands of packs just to uh 
or a thousand, hundreds and hundreds of packs to finally pull, sometimes thousands, to pull that last one card they need. And I don't want to get to that point. I want to keep opening the same set. Really like that Raichu. Same set for a long period of time. You know, open a few packs here and there. That's all right with me. I'll enjoy that. Oh, revealed that pack card. We at least got a hollow in this pack. Uh, what do you think it's going to be? Is it going to be a V? A regular hollow? Let me rephrase how I'm saying it. Is it going to be a regular hollow or better? I'm thinking it's going to be better. I mean, we've already pulled one V and one. Ooh, look at that. It's a trainer gallery. That's nice. Professor Burnett, or Burnett, I don't know how she says her name, but it's a double hit pack. Arcanon for the back. All right, we're going to sleeve these up. Ooh, pulled it out. I know I need this one. One less card on a count. I will eventually show <clears throat> my uh, binder. I just think it'd be fun. You know, it's just one of the things I get to show off what I've been able to get so far. Or I should say we. It's not just me. But going back to the community part. Oh. It's just a full art, right? Yeah, it's just a full art. Is it a Murwal? Oh, Superior V. Very nice. That's a very nice card. Okay. That's needed. And that one in. All right, so we got, what, so far two that I know I need for the binder. But yeah, all about the community, helping uh, everyone else, helping the next generation. Which, you know, speaking of helping next generation, I'm going to go ahead and say this right now. If you're trading, and you're trading someone younger, don't, don't rip them off. I've seen it happen too many times. It happened to me a lot when I was a kid. Luckily, now there's things, you know, cell phones, we can look up prices, Ooh, radiant, and Ninja Star, and you, you know, you can easily see the prices, but I remember getting ripped off too much as a kid, and not too much, several times. Just don't, don't do that, it ruins it for them. You want more people in this, we want more people in the Pokemon community, growing together, and just, you know, if the collectors, players, or, you know, whatever, help them out. Like, that's what I'm planning on doing with all my extras. Definitely all these. I mean, if... You know, this would just make a kid's day if I just hand them, like, a whole stack. Like, here's a whole bunch of Pokemon cards. Like, these mean nothing to me. But they can mean a lot to someone else. So just keep that in mind. Out there trading. Or even just talking to kids like the regular adults and not like they're a kid. I've seen that a lot, too. So, enough of that little rant. Here we go, Co-Guard. Right, let's do this. Togo tomorrow. Sand out. What's up? Getting in the middle of the screen. Swirlex. Marini. Ooh. And Didi. Articuno reverse. That's nice. I really like the Articuno art. Keep that off to the side. So for my collection, I'm not going after what I would call a true master's collection. Or a master set. I'm not going for every reverse, but whichever reverses I do pull, I'll put them in the binder. And I know I don't have that one yet. Okay, that's Coker, Emolga, Chimeco, Bunary, Drowsy, Spinarak, Fidene, and four Sealstone. And one of these, is it the forest one? I think it's the, this one that sees play. It must see play. I mean, this is, I think it's this one. It's like a four or five dollar card, which is nuts. That is something that me and little Griff will be getting into. We're here to, he wants to play. I used to play when I was younger. Granted, it might not always been by the rules, but I still had fun playing the card game. So there will be videos eventually if we can get it up and going. You start getting the community growing in my area. We will, and have tournaments. We'll probably do a little video of that. You know, and then other people open packs. I'm thinking, I don't know, I have a lot of plans. I have a lot of ideas for this channel. And I just need y'all's help with it, to be honest. You know, hit that like. Make it... Ooh. We gotta be... 
Hey, my first ho o. -Oh. You know, I didn't even know ho -Oh was in this box yet or in this set until I got the the little booklet that comes out of the ETBs and was going through and marking off everything. I didn't even know ho -Oh was in here. That is an amazing ho -Oh. I really like the artwork on that. But yeah. So we'll be uh, doing all sorts of fun stuff on here. And that's what I was at. Um, you know, just a little bit of help, like liking. You don't have to share. You know, maybe even a comment would help out a lot. Ninja Star. Would help out a lot. You know, just to get me put out a little bit more. And I'm not saying just me. I'm, this channel was made originally for Little Griff. But he's just not here. He went with some other family for the weekend. So it's, unfortunately, I'll just have me. And, but I know that's how you get picked up more. And I think we're at, no, it seems like they're bouncing back and forth between like 150 to 156 right now. Which all of y'all, y'all are amazing. I mean, you know, it's hard to believe I already have, there's already 150 people plus that just come in and watch what we're doing. Hey, the Jinx, we finally got it. And there's something behind it. Okay. All right, all right. This has a silk. Is this it? Oh, it's not it. I get hype and get myself excited every time I see that. I think I already have this one. It'd be a good trade. I do not have the Jinx yet. So another one for the binder. There we go. But, oh yeah, that's what I was saying. I was talking about all of y'all that come and watch and actually watch through my content. I love all of y'all. Very thankful. And it's just unreal of how many people are already around. I needed that. And I needed that. There we go. Oh, the Lowland Vulpix. It's a nice card. This is my first one. That gets to go on a sleeve. And I know I needed the reverse of this one. Okay. Right. Oh, I'm sorry for bumping that. Fletchling, Chimchow, Feebas, Finnegan, more Peko. Bravery, non hollow. Next pack. This box is nowhere near as good so far as my last one, which I expected that my last box. If you haven't seen that video, you should go watch it. That, my first ever uh, Pokemon box was just amazing. That, I had an alt rare in there. Ooh, I believe I need that one too. Okay. So this box might not be getting the uh, super high end hits, but it's giving me hits I need for my binder. And that's what I'm going for right now. Okay. Go card. Markrow. Rotom. Baneri. What is up with all the whiting I'm seeing on these cards? Have y'all been having that issue with Silver Tempest? It seems like it's only on the commons, though. But it's been... I just haven't said it in the past several packs, but it's been... A lot of these packs out of here so far, the commons just have a whole bunch of whiting, white spots all over them. Like something didn't work or come out correctly during the print process or whenever they were being made. Alrighty. Like, that one's not just white. Okay, maybe that one's part of the card is black, but there's a whole bunch of white spots all around that one, even. Okay, and a Norvern. Non hollow. Okay. Boom. Next pack. And. Oh, we know what the reverse is. Sunkern, Clink, Tail Litten, Leafy, and a Frostlass. Non hollow. Okay, we need another hit. I think there should be a few more hits in here. There should be a few more hits in this box. Surely, I mean, we're coming towards the end. Ooh, card's falling. Here we go. Moga, Miss Magnus. Miss Magius. Sorry. I mean, look at that. Why? It's just all over the place. Maybe with this new, uh, with the Scarlet and Violet set that's coming out. We know that we're getting rid of the yellow borders, which I honestly don't know how I feel about that. I 
I'm personally a fan of the yellow borders. But it's just because, you know, it just brings back all the nostalgia for me. Of when I was a kid, open Pokemon. And I see something in there. Yep. We finally got a hit. So I don't know how I feel. Hey, it's going to take V. I needed that. Finally, you know, get a little excitement for a skunk tank. I don't know very many uh, skunk tank lovers out there, but that one's nice. I needed that. There we go. Let's see. We have, what is that? How many packs left? One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the seventh pack. Okay, we have a little bit more than I thought we did. Let's go ahead and scoot this back this way. That's getting a little tall. Poor Litton. Rotom, Veneri, Radiant Alakazam, and a Dragonite. I'm going to put the Radiant in the sleeve. Boom. Another hit. I do like this whole trainer gallery. And I'm glad they're bringing that into Scarlet and Violet. And I almost feel like they have to from now on. You know, people are getting used to all these hits now. Or not all of them, but, you know, having really two chances to get a hit instead of just that one. But I, I will be sad with the uh, yellow borders going away. That's why I decided on this set I'm going to complete. I believe it's the last set for rainbows. And it's the second to last set. If we saw that card. Of, nice, of uh, yellow borders. Okay, that's a nice hit. Really like the artwork on that one too. Can't open a pack. All right, go cool card. Tratini, Chinchow, Metadot, Dewpotter, Nita, Keldeo, and Tumultic, non hollow. Ooh, getting towards the end. How many? We got what? Three packs left. Save the ball picks for last. It wasn't in the last spot. Let's keep open like we have been. Open them up. Here we go. Oh, I think we got something in this one. That's good. Swirlex, Marini. I believe there's something in here. <sighs> okay. I needed to stop getting excited when I just see silver like that because I, I believe this is just a V Star. Yep. Okay. That's great, though. That's still a Lukia V Star. This is my second one. But it's a really nice card to get. I really like this artwork on this one. Okay, so it's even out. It's about even on both sides. From the left and right of opening. Kill card. Durant. Fletchling. Rear seed. I kept calling a saying. Smeagol. It's not Smeagol. Oh, I was Lord of the Ring reference. If any of y'all get that or not, I'm sorry, you should go watch Lord of the Rings. All right, last pack. What do you think? I think this is going to be it. I think we're going to get a good hit out of this last pack. I have a good feeling. I can feel it. Oh, as I'm badly opening it. So with the last pack, I'm going to go ahead and say I appreciate everyone that stayed here and watched it. Even if you skip towards the end. I'm thankful for you coming and just watching the video. So please hit that like button. Subscribe for more. Because I am putting out a video. Uh, actually, I'm putting out two videos a week. And I have a short that comes out every day currently. And that short, it was a hollow. It's a hit. It wasn't a, you know, a dead pack. We currently have a uh, short while I'm opening this Lost Origin box. I open one pack a day on the shorts. And we're just going through an entire box like that and seeing how it goes. Box has been okay so far. It's lot, it's hitting up. But we'll just go through the hits. Get the Lugia. And we're just going to go through them. So, yeah, like I was saying, just hit that like, subscribe, join me for more. Join little Griff for more. He's loving all of this that he gets to do with everyone on here. And I will see you on the next one.